Alright, so now we've got um, chandelier. I'm just going to draw it. And we've got this, and then the chandelier is hanging from here. Okay. And now the mass, and it asks us to find um, each of the tensions. So we've got a T3, we've got a T, um, T2, and a T1. And I guess there's not really a directionality there. Um, and just to draw these up. Um, and we've got a theta one and a theta two. And theta one is given as 37.0. Theta two is given as 64.0. The mass of the chandelier is given as 125 kilograms. And it's asked to find what the mass or what the tension is in each of these strings. So we've got one, two, and three. So uh, considering just um, where the chandelier, um, so looking at this static equation, we have um, our force due to gravity, which is just mg must be balanced by the tension force, tension three. And so we can say that our, our force equation here is just our gravitational force. I guess I'll uh, use up as positive. So minus our gravitational force plus T3 is equal to zero. So then that means that T3 is equal to our gravitational force, which is 125 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which comes out to be um, 1225 newtons. So there's our uh, T3. And now um, expanding for T1 and T2. So um, I'm just going to kind of redraw here. So at this point, we have uh, T3, T1, T2. What did I call this? <laughs> T2. And uh, T1 over here. And that angle is 37 degrees. And that angle is 64 degrees. Okay, so here now we can solve, we can separate into our. Uh, our components, so our force is going to be f x x hat plus f y y hat. And because nothing's moving, uh, this is going to equal, well, it's always going to equal ma, but because it's not moving, it's going to equal zero. So that goes to zero because there's no acceleration. So now looking at our x component forces and using this is our x direction, and this is our y direction. Um, our x component forces are going to be, if we draw these as uh, similar triangles, so this is still 37 degrees here, which means that this here is T1 cosine of 37. And this here is T2, cosine of 64. So then um, our Fx is T2 
cosine of 64 minus, because this acts in the negative direction, T1 uh, cosine of 37. And that together has to equal our x acceleration, which is zero. And so we have that T2 cosine of 64 is equal to T1 cosine of 37. Okay. Um, now, our y component Um, from this axis system here, our y component is going to be a sum of coming from all three forces. So here we have T2 sine of 64. And here we have uh, T1 sine of uh, 37. So our Fy is going to be, uh, and both of these are going to act in the positive direction. So T1 sine of 37 plus T2 sine of 64. And then T3 acts um, downward. So minus T3 and that equals zero. But recalling that T3 we've already solved for is 1225. So then um, T1 sine 37 plus T2 sine 64 is equal to this 1225 newtons. And then from the X equation, we can solve for, say, T2. We can pick any of them, really. But I'm just going to say T2 is T1 cos 37 over cos 64. Plugging this into the Y equation, we get T1 sine 37 plus T1 cos 37, sine 64 over cos 64 <clears throat> equals 1225 newtons. Or uh, we can pull the T1 out and completely solve for it. So T1 is 1225 divided by sine 37 plus cos 37 sine 64 over cos 64. So I've just completely pulled T1 out and now we just have numbers. Um, <clears throat> and so Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so that's just equal to 1225 newtons over uh, 2.2383, which is 547.06 newtons. And then using um, our T2 equation up here, we can solve for T2. So T2 is T1 cos 37 over cos 64, which is uh, 547.06 um, times cos 37 over cos 64, which comes out to 996.6. Okay, and now we have our three tensions. So T1 is 547 
T2 is 986, and T3 is 1225. Um, okay, so um, I don't know if it's because they use 9.81, they're rounding everything to, the, to three significant digits, um, which I suppose I should have done, so it would be uh, 1230 with significant digits, uh, 997 and 547. Um, <clears throat> but um, I would round only at the end because, so here, um, I guess they're using, um, I guess, this looks a bit simpler to do. Um, but the way I did it is a bit more expanded and shows at least where the forces are all coming from. Um, but you could do it, I, it looks like either way. Uh, the only reason why the values are different is because they use the rounded um, T3 to calculate T1 and T2, so it expands it a little bit. But so there's just a couple rounding errors, but it looks like the, the method is correct.